How to do, everybody? Welcome in. It is January 14th. It is nine days. Let's see, my mama's birthday is on the January the 23rd. So we normally go out to the top of the river in the lovely Anniston, Alabama to eat, but she probably won't go since we're in the COVID pandemic, but it's a wonderful place to go if you ever get to Anniston, Alabama. Uh, I encourage you to check out the top of the river. I get the river boat special, which is fried catfish fillets with hush puppies, the best coleslaw on the planet, and they have mustard greens. And you put the hot pepper sauce on those with their Mexican cornbread. God, is it good. That's good stuff. Don't get me all excited about that because I had Wendy's <clears throat> for lunch, a Baconator. Hey, uh, Beth, have the baby turn the thing down. It's too loud for me. All right, the baby's in the background with her game. So welcome in, everybody. President-elect Ken is with us, uh, showing the circle, the harmonics of the sphere, which is a little strange, but uh, whatever that is. Um, let's see, Craig Kendall is with us. Matt Jolly is with us. Is the boss in or out, Matt? What's the problem? He already going to lunch? I am on lunch. All right. You in the bathroom? He, no, he's working remotely this week, so. Pretty easy this week. Okay, gotcha. All right, Drew's with us, Semper Fi, Dimitri, Dwayne. Everybody's coming in good today. All right, well, let's see what we got going on. And uh, Smitty had some trades he wanted us to look at today, so we'll look at those and just get into the uh, deal of what we do each and every day. All right, let's see how the account's doing. We pull up our spreadsheet. Uh, also, if you have not had your one-on-one -on -one consultation to get your spreadsheet set up, I'm available for y'all, all right? I try to do more, not more than one a day because, ooh, it just gets me, gets me all tired. So today is the 14th day of, I hate numeric lock keys. One, 14, the crap! Sorry, y'all, let me fuss at my computer. What's wrong? Hit my numeric lock button. There we go. One, 14, 21. First thing you do is log your net lick. Let's see if we get to play the Jeffersons today. The net lick for the day is 44, 418.20. Let's see what that works out to be. We are, well, come on. We're up $24. Let's play the Jeffersons, baby. Where's the Jefferson? All right, enough of the silliness. I'm up $24 today. How does daddy do it, baby? So we're up 1.97% for the year. Very nice. So let's record our Greeks, our Delta. Yeah, baby. We're just slightly negative deltas. Make sure you are beta waiting your deltas to spy. If you don't, you're going to get a freaky number. Like, look at this, 59.12. No, no, no. We want that all comparing, comparing to the spy. So we're negative 0.49. So we go to our Greeks and Ratios page. Negative 0.49. And I know this may get redundant doing this every day, but y'all, this is portfolio management. You are the head of your own hedge fund. This is a business. Theta, 6749. Nice positive theta. Look at there, it's going up from yesterday. 67.49. And our Vega, you'll hear me say it every day, Vega is what hurts you when the market crashes, negative 14, negative 415.07. Okay, and we see that this is green, nice and green, so we're in our acceptable range. We are between 0 0.10 and 1.0. Nice. Next thing we record is our buying power, and we are using 13.225 in buying power. 
think we're all right there. 13225. Check it out. It says we are using 29, almost 30% of our buying power. That is no problem because we know in the current VIX environment between 20 and 30 that we can use up to 35% of our buying power, right? So we're using 29.77. Looking nice. Now, yesterday, I put on that big old gold trade. So that took most of my, uh, most of my, premium that I needed to sell for the week, I mean, I'm done. I mean, I don't need to do anything today, right? It says day complete, Bobby. Look at you. So I've sold 99.12% of my weekly theta, right, of my weekly premium. I've sold 1706. I should be at 1377 today. So I am well on the way to where I need to be. I only need to sell $15 of premium for the rest of the week. So between today and tomorrow, if I sell $15, I am done. But now, you know, you, you gotta make these decisions. Can I sell a little more? Yeah, because I'm not using quite all of my buying power, right? So I, I mean, you gotta take this with a, a grain of salt. Do I need to adjust my buying power? It says yes. That is not right. I don't know why. It was clicking a while ago between yes and no. I need to close this out, open it up again because I don't need to adjust my buying power because my buying power is perfect unless VIX has done something that I don't know that VIX has done. Let's see what VIX is today. VIX is 22.03. That's fine. So no change there. All right. Now, so we've, we've done everything we need to do on our spreadsheet. So let's go look at our trades and see if there's anything that you and I need to manage. Go to your monitor tab. Let's open this up. See, uh, remember, you need to make sure you got your P&L percentage here so you can rank these things by top to bottom and bottom to top. And it says our EWW trade is at 25%. How many days we got on that one? We got 22 days on that one. Well, actually, what I should do is go to my spreadsheet and see if we're getting any closing signals on anything, right? So most of our trades that we have open are under the equities tab. I changed that to purple yesterday. That is not for LSU, that is for Rambert High School, my high school in Alabama, where I went to high school, graduated in 1988, valedictorian and president of my senior class. Out of 48 people, I thought that was impressive. All right, so EWW, do we got any closing signals over here? Remember the auto close date signal comes up if you've got anything that you're holding less than uh, 21 days, right? So we get a couple signals there. Those are less than 21 days. We're getting a tasty trade optimum close on something. Let's scroll to the left and see what that is. Oh, my old trade is saying, hey, Bobby, you are currently at 15%, and since you've only been in this trade for two days, this is an optimum time to close that. Let's see how much money we got in that one. Probably not enough for me to close it. We're up $12.50, y'all, and they said we couldn't do it. So I'm not going to close that. Right? That's just not enough profit that I want to take in and ruin my great statistics we got going on. All right, so let's now see if we've got any problem children. We know of a couple problem children, right? We've got Chewy, dang it, I bet against Chewy and did an in-out spread thinking it was going to go down. What was I thinking? It's down 100%. I can't lose any more on it. Uh, that one expires tomorrow, so I'll probably close her out tomorrow. Got an IWM trade that we've got. A $45, 100% loss on. That was an in-out trade. Me, dumb, thinking that the market would actually go down at some point, and it didn't. So tomorrow, these great statistics that I have of having, like, what, five or $600 worth of profit this week, man, am I really going to get hurt tomorrow? Because I'm going to take $300 worth of loss tomorrow. <gasps> it hurts. Now, Snapchat, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Who got us into this trade yesterday? We are down 82% on SNAP after one day. What did we do? We sold a, what did we sell? A put? 
Oh my gosh, I'm down $92 on that. All right, let's see what we were thinking. What were we thinking? Let's pull up our volume profile on Snap, see what we were thinking. All right, so remember, we're, we're trying this new thing where we're actually, make sure nothing's in the chat that I need to notice. Hey, Bobby, I want to book one-on-one -on -one session with you. Absolutely, Dimitri. Let's do that. All right, let's pull up Snap and see where we went wrong. Whose idea was this, by the way? Matt, was this your idea? Oh, my gosh. What an idiot. So apparently we were. It was not my idea. Well, this was not your idea. I guess I'm gonna have to take the blame for this one. I'm a DraftKings guy. You're the DraftKings guy. Look at this, Snapchat. Who the fool sold a put yesterday when it was up here? When we knew it would come down here to the over. Let me draw it. We knew it was gonna come to the. Where's my little drawing tools? I tell you, I'm just not. I'm having one of those days. So this, so what do we do now, y'all? We're down 82%. What do we do? Well, we panic. No, we don't panic. Uh, let me get my drawing tool. It's a sacrifice. Come on, Epic Pen, open up. I have the free version of Epic Pen. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the $25 version. It's a lifetime license. Where is it at? I want my drawing. I want my little drawer. Come on. I got like three different screens, and this thing won't open up on anything. Nonetheless, you know that this is the oversold position, right? And look, what's it doing? Price is going down to that little whatever. We knew it, didn't we? God, we knew it. And I sold a put. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's play defense, because I don't think you've seen us play defense yet. Now watch, you're going to love this. So in Snapchat, we're down 81%, right? Just a loser. Let's, I mean, we are, we just stink. So what we're going to do, we are going to go to the trade tab. We're going to look where our little trade is in Snap. Put it in Snap. Okay, here we go. Uh, where are we? We're at 22 days. Look though, y'all, I mean, here's the cool thing. We got 22 days on this, it's still at a 28 delta. I mean, it looks like we suck, right? It looks like we're in a horrible trade, but we're still out of the money. But we are gonna play defense. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to sell a call as a defensive measure. Uh, where do I want to sell it? Look at this. I can go, there's a 33 delta, 25% probability of ending the money. Look, you still get a great, great premium up there, don't you? So why don't I go to about the 21%, 22%. Let's take in a dollar 56. Let's try to get that dollar 60 because we're greedy. Move it up to the mid price. Firm and sin. All right, there we are, dollar sixty. So I'm going to click on this line, and we're going to go copy that because we're going to need to put that into our spreadsheet. So we're playing defense, y'all. Now we got a strangle on. Playing a little defense. Snap one contract, and we just sold the. 58.5 call. We're going to right click and insert our option name in there so it'll keep up with the pricing for us. We sold a short call. What were we about at the 22 delta or so? 22% probability of being in the money. Days to expiration on that was 22. We entered that on the 14th. All right, and we brought in $1.60 on that. 
hey, my premium selling is done for the day, done for the week. I'm already cruising into next week. So look at this. We made, we brought in $159 into our business, y'all. Didn't have to advertise to sell that. We didn't have to do a Facebook ad. We didn't have to do anything. My friend just told me there's a naked woman coming out of the ground at a park in Atlanta. Well, that's interesting. Lots of strange things going in the ATL. So, we did that, bringing in uh, $159. Now, what's this? We go to our weekly premium tab. What happened? Look at this, y'all. I'm at 108% of my premium selling goal for the week. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, got $541 of profit. Now, remember our trade that was down 82%? Watch this. This is what you're going to love. Watch this. How does daddy do it? Go to the monitor tab. Now when we go to the snap line, look at this. Ha ha, we're not down 80 something percent. We're only down 34%. I repaired the trade, y'all. That's defense. So not only does the University of Alabama Crimson Tide play offense, which was probably the best offensive college team I've ever seen this year. I mean, we were just unbelievable, right? Uh, we play defense. So we are now only down 35% on that trade. We're down 43% on VIX. Nothing we can do about that, y'all. We're just looking for this to help us in the event of a catastrophe. By the way, let me show you something in VIX, okay? Let's go to the Analyze tab. I had this pulled up yesterday that gets me all excited. Let's put VIX in here. VIX. If you don't know how to use the Analyze tab, we're going to use it a lot through our time together. You will learn all kinds of things about this. Here's my little VIX trade. Hide simulations. This is what VIX looks like. Check it out, y'all. VIX right now is at 22. If VIX were to go up to 35, Sweet Bobby's going to be up between $929 to $1,300. If VIX goes up to 50, that trade's going to make between $3,900 and $4,500. How do I know? I'm looking over here, y'all, over on the left, okay? If that uh, VIX goes up to 60, it happened earlier last year, didn't it? VIX goes up to 60, Sweet Bobby is up $6,700 to $7,300. How does daddy do it? All right. So <clears throat> now by selling that call also, what did it also help? It helped my negative deltas, didn't it? Got me a little more negative deltas. Got me a little more theta. Now I'm using just, it, did it use any more buying power? Should not have. Uh, 13,484. What was I at before on my spreadsheet? 13, go to our Greeks and ratios. We were using 13.225. So the buying power basically stayed the same. So when you have sold the put, it really doesn't take any more buying power for you to sell the call. So I did that defensive adjustment on Snapchat by simply selling a call against the short put that I've got. And let's analyze that trade. Let's go to Analyze tab. We'll tap in Snap. And we'll take off the vol steps up here and just go to expiration. We've only got one expiration. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, there she is. Ain't she pretty? This is where thinkorswim gets mighty, mighty buggy when I start pulling this out. But you can see, here's where the price of Snapchat is, right? You can see that I'm in a huge little profit zone. Till this break even of what is that uh, 61.15 all the way down to the little break even there of 43.75 this is the current price at 51.17 I'm in the profit baby all I got to do is let time go by and let's collect some of that profit now if it keeps going down here what are we going to do well we'll roll the call down uh, there's a lot of things we could do, or we can close this out, our put, we can roll it out in time, collect credit. So not only do we play offense, and offense is what we've been playing most of this year, but we play defense too, okay? Play defense too. Now, let me see if we can do some of the things that 
Smitty wanted to do and look at for today. He wanted to look at Chewy. Yeah, you just want to rub it in my face, don't you, Smitty? Since I bet against him, let's see how Chewy looks. I really want my little Epic pen to open. I don't know where it's at. Give me just one second. Do a little house cleaning here. Mm -hmm. Out. There it is. There's my out. And why won't you open? Y'all talk amongst yourselves. Hope everybody's having a good day, by the way. Hey, they impeached the president again. Boy, that was constructive stuff, wasn't it? Boy, the market really hated it too, didn't it? I'll tell you what. Some of these clowns that we have leading our country on is just unbelievable. I mean, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. We have some idiots up there. And the reason is the people that are trading and making the money, they got better things to do, right? We don't want to run and um, we don't want to do the run for office because you and I got better things to do. We're making losing trades in Chewy. All right, let's open Chewy up. Chewy, Chewy, Chewy. Let's look and see. I think I've got everything drawn because my drawings apparently didn't work. C-H-W-Y. Isn't it Chewy? There we go. Chewy, Chewy, Chewy. Let's see what Chewy looks like. I don't know what I'm going to do without my little drawing tool. Come on. Beth, you may have to get the little marijuana guy back on the line. Tell him about our internet slow. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Look at this, y'all. Chewy. Make sure this is December for January. Yep, December for January. You see it right there. So I've already drawn the big green monster. What do I think about Chewy? Well, I, yeah, I thought that Chewy was going to... Let's see if I can do this. Oh. I thought Chewy was going to go down. Right? I really did. I thought it was going to go down. And I did a downward bet, thinking that it would go down where volume had traded the most. And even the possibility of it going one standard deviation below. But... What did Chewy do? Chewy said, hey, Bobby, I'm in the butt area, though. I'm right here. I'm in the fair value range. And even though you thought I was going down, I was going to show you that I'm going to go up to the middle of the fair value range and then just hang out a little bit. Unbelievable. I mean, that's just... So, why don't you and I go to our other little drawing let's see here we want to go to let's check out chewy oh man slow days you notice anything different about my chart today i added a 50 moving average and a 200 moving average and you're saying bobby why did you do that Oh, really? Everybody else does it. I don't know anything about it. I just did it. Look at there. Chewy, baby. What is Chewy? What was I thinking? Chewy is in an up, uphill climb. I mean, it go, it, look at the, the th I mean, it goes here. It goes to the bottom of the regression channel. It goes to the top, back to the middle. And here, that's what I thought. I thought, hey, we're going to go from here. We're going to go down here. But we didn't, do did we? We're just hanging out here. And, y'all, it's at the top of that. I would not expect Chewy to continue going upward there. I could be wrong. I would expect to pull back. You know, I would expect to pull back in Chewy at some point. Chewy is, what is it doing today? Chewy is down a little bit today, right? 0.91, down 0.81%. Is that right? Am I reading that right? So, I mean, on down days, you sell puts. What did Smitty say he wanted to do? I mean, let's put up what Smitty wanted to do. Smitty said, trades in the crosshairs today. He wanted to sell a 90 put and bring in a $1.49 credit. <clears throat> Smitty, 
You could do that, but yeah, I just I can't bless it. There's too many things that I mean I'm not Susie Orman or anything, so you know I'm just saying that you know I, I still think that there might be a pullback back to here. I think that if you sell a put at this time, you know you may be tested on that. But I, but at the same time, I'm not sure that I would sell a call either because there is a good chance that our little friend is going to go. It's going to go. Let's see how do I draw. Dang it. Mouse, select, text, draw. Here. There's a good chance that this thing might go here, right, to the top range of fair value. Remember, this is fair value. Here's the whole butt. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't bless it. I just can't bless a selling a put. I mean, it may go up, but I think there's a strong probability based on volume profile and based on our chart that that puppy is going to go down. And I've got a downward leaning position that's probably not going to work out, but I'm going to hold it through tomorrow just to see. Okay? All right, Smitty also wanted to see XLE. Let's look at XLE. Then he's got something on there I've never traded before, so we'll look at that as well. XLE. <laughs> do da do da. Waiting for data. <sighs> Unbelievable. Let's make sure that we have. Yep, that's December for January, so we've already drawn it. Look at this, y'all. Get my drawing tool. So, <clears throat> look at volume profile. Here is where the most volume has traded over the last 10 days at that red line. We are at one standard deviation above that, the value area high. Here's a standard deviation below. Here's the value area low. Would not surprise me to see a pullback to this area, right? Now, if we look at the big green monster, we know that this is the butt where fair value is. That's the fair value range. Price on XLE on the energy ETF has now gone out of the fair value range and has gone into an overbought condition right up here. So the big gray monster is saying, hey, baby, uh, look at you. You are out of line. Don't you remember Bobby Drew, a green, red, big green monster? You've got to go back down into this area to satisfy him and maybe even back down to here. So, but right now, both of my charts, and I'm not a chartist, I just show you what I draw, uh, are saying, hey, baby, uh, you're overbought. You're probably going to have a pullback. And it's up 2.59% today. Wow. All right, let's go to our other little chart. What was this? What are we even looking at? Energy, right? XLE? Yep. So we go to this chart. See what XLE is telling us. Come on. Unbelievable. Y'all yeah, saw my, my internet was working so good after the little guy come out that was smoking pot from Spectrum. All right, here we go. So XLE, see what it looks like on our little linear regression channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, there we go. All right, XLE, baby. We are in an upward leaning little uh, channel there. We are going up. We've got little moving averaging lines that has made a little cross. Don't tell me what that means because I really don't watch that a lot. But, you know, I mean, this thing really on the linear regression channel has a bit of a ways to go up, doesn't it? So it's gone from the top of the channel to the bottom of the channel to the center of the channel to the top of the channel. So it very well may go up a little bit more. Wouldn't surprise me at all before it eventually comes down. All right, let's look at Tasty Works. 
let's see where we look in XLE. Come on. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I got caps lock on. Here we go. Okay. XLE. XLE. Now, this is where someone got confused yesterday. They said, Bobby, you're paper trading, aren't you? I said, no. Uh, I just don't have any money in my Tastyworks account. I probably need to put some there. XLE is IV rank of 22. Let's look how it is on the ETF uh, watch list. Where's it at? Liquid ETFs. Let's see where we are on that. Uh, XLE is at the top, baby. It's silver. We got VXX and XLE is number third. Number three at 22. So, yeah, I could definitely see selling something in there. So, let's look at it again. XLE. We have, I like to look at these little individual IVs, right? 47% in the one day. Uh, 39 in the 8 day, 40 in the 15 day, 41 in the there, and then it starts going back down, doesn't it? So I like that 22 days. 22 days because it has the most IV. See that? Most IV. There's no rocket science to that. I mean, I could easily go to the 29, or I could easily go to the 36, but let's look at a 22 day trade. And we were thinking that we might do a selling a call, right? Isn't that what Smitty said? Smitty said. Let's see what Smitty said. Smitty said, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Smitty said, XLE, a 47 call. Okay. He was going to do a 47 call for 77 cents. So it looks like that one's going for 73. Now, I'm not sure what expiration he was in. But on this one, you know, here's the expected move, right, in 22 days. Here's the expected move. You see it in the brown. And you could go and collect... 51 or 61 cents here. There's a 22% probability of being in the money. Let's look at that. Let's click on this 61, see what it says. I've got an 80% probability of profit. Remember, one of the things we do, number one, we sell premium. Number two, we place the odds in our favor, right? So I'm bringing in 61 extrinsic probability of reaching 50% on that trade is 86%. Bringing in a sweet 2.96 in theta. I like it. Takes me $578 of buying power there. So that was the 47 and a half, 22 days out. Let's go into Thinkorswim. Type in XLE. Now, if you got smaller accounts, we can help you out with that too, right? You don't have to sell a naked call. So, if we went to the 47 and a half, let's click on selling that. All right, let's move that up to the mid price of 63. See if we could get that. All right, so that would be a credit of 62.45. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. We built a calculator the other day, did we not? By the way, if you didn't build this and you want me to share this with you, please let me know and I'll do it. But we built a return on capital calculator. And we said that we could bring in, let me go back to that again, 62.45 in premium. So we got our spreadsheet. And we type in 62.45. Oh, my computer's slow. Here we go. 62.45. 62.45. And the buying power to make that trade was. 57195. See the buying power is checked. 57195. Go back to our little spreadsheet. 57195. 
So that is a 22 days, right? I'm going to change that to 22. So that is a 10.92% raw return on capital. I like that word, raw. 10.92%. Uh, you can't get that in a CD, baby, right? And if you were to annualize that, and I just do that for fun, right? I say, well, if you could, in 22 days, make that entire premium, you would make 10.92% on the capital required to put that trade up. I like annualizing it so I can compare these things. Remember yesterday we had one that was all over 400%. But if you could make 108, a potential of 181% on your money, would you take that trade? Yeah, I would. I really would. So, this. Uh-oh, the mid-price is now at 64. Let's see if we can get filled there. It says that the price would have to go up 0.8 before we got filled there. Let's just try it anyway, shall we? Let's be adventurous. And then I'll... Sold. Where's my sound? Dang it, I didn't get the bell. Did y'all hear a sound? Crap. There it goes. My internet's so slow, I should have known it'd take two minutes to do it. All right, so I sold that. We're going to right-click on that because we're going to put that trade in, right? And we're going to copy, and now another ding. Or was that one of y'all doing it? Was that y'all dinging or me dinging? All right, so let's go back to our spreadsheet extraordinaire we're going to go down to the equities tab that i changed to purple we're going to go xle xle johnny one light i think ken was saying yesterday hey bobby i'm coming around to your way of thinking you know taking these wonderful profits in little small chunks that's what we got to do you don't have to worry about big old chunks of profits we take them in small chunks Let's see, let me log in here so I can find out what we did. Okay, so we sold the 47 and a half call, 47.5C. We're gonna right click and paste that little thing that I copied. So we got a short call there. And what delta was that, y'all? Went about 20 delta or so. And the days to expiration were 22 days. But Bobby, Tasty Trade says 45 days. Shh. We got expirations all over the place. Remember, we did 114 days the other day. Entered that trade at 114. Trust me, we know what we're doing. 0.64 is the price we got filled on, so we brought in a great credit of 63.45, right? We're down 8% already. Close it. Panic. No, no, no. We're good to go, baby. Because we know that you and I are on track to make $12,000. Look at this. Just in this teeny tiny portfolio that you and I are managing. That is gorgeous. All right? Now, you don't have you don't have the buying power to do that trade. I got you. And I got to take more better care of you guys uh, who can't do those trades, right? So let's go here, change this from spread to single. Let's trade it to vertical. See what it's got. Now, see, y'all, here's the thing, though, because you're going to say, oh, man, look at this, man. It's uh, 50 cent wide strikes. Well, y'all, y'all don't want to do that, right? That's, that's just so close. And out here it starts doing me, you know, one dollar wide strikes, but you're not going to get, a third of the width there. So let's do this. Let's go back to vertical. Let's go to deep and wide. Deep and wide will go to one month times two strikes. Go out vertical, see if that'll widen that at least to a dollar. There we go. So see, you've got 44, 45, 45, 46. There you go. So if you wanted to do this same trade with us, why don't we go maybe see what this one will do? The 4647 vertical spread. There you go, darling. You can maybe collect 31 cents there, which was one third the width of the spread. 31, it, ideally you'd be at 33, right? So it's a dollar wide spread, you wanna collect a third of that. So about 30 cents, 33 cents on that. So you could actually, actually do that trade with me. And let's see, 
if we did that, how much buying power that takes. Can anyone tell me? If you're collecting 31 and it's a dollar wide stripe, that should take $69 of buying power. Let's see if Bobby's right. Boom! Well, it's off a dime, right? It'll take you $69.10 in buying power. $1,500 count. Can you do this trade? Yes, you can. Will it bring in sweet little theta to your account? Yes, it will. Okay? So, I bless that. But again, don't follow my trades blindly. Don't follow me. Remember, I am one of the dumbest traders of all. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay? You should assume that. Every day you come in here, go, you know that Bobby? Bobby, he's on medications. Look. You see this Target bag? Stool softeners. Never take advice from someone that's on stool softeners. Aspirin, daily aspirin, metformin, venaflaxin, eloquus, and there's about 18 others in there. Amphe uh, let's see, what is that other one I think? I'm on Adderall. Same medications as my nephews. So you would never, ever blindly follow somebody that's on so many medications, right? So I want you to evaluate all this stuff on your own. All right, so Smitty had one other thing he wants to check on. Cron. Y'all, I have no idea what this is. C-R-O-N. Matt, do you know what this is? Cron. Let's see what it is. C-R-O-N. Sounds like a cyborg company or something. Cron. Kronos Group, Inc. Got no idea. What did he want to do in this? He wanted to... Oh, someone's chatted something. Let's see. Uh, what about W? All right, we'll check on W in a little bit. What about Snap? Melanie, did you see what I did with Snap? You must have come in late, girl. There's Melanie. Melanie, I played defense on Snap. So I sold a call against our Snap position. My Snap position in one day was 82% down. So let me tell you what we did in Snap. We'll try to answer all your questions. In Snap... I went in, it was 88% down, now I'm only 40% down because I played defense and I sold the 58 and a half call 22 days out. That's what I did. So we're playing defense on that. So I still think that trade uh, looks good. Okay? Yep, you came in late. That's right. How was choir practice yesterday, by the way? Or it wasn't yesterday, it was Tuesday. All right, I lost my train of thought. What were we doing? Cron. I have no idea what Cron is. Let's look at it. Cron has an IV rank of 15.1. Well, that doesn't look good. But then when you come over here, right, you see the IV is 152, 111, 102, 98, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of stuff, right? So he wanted to do an eight put. Wow. Okay, so this is an $11 stock. All right, someone's saying something. Dwayne, what were you going to say? Oh, okay. He just unmuted himself for a second. So, Cron is an $11 stock. I really don't like trading $11 stocks. Let's, 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 let's play with it a little bit. Are the Let's go out to about... You know, it may not have a lot of liquidity in these weeklies. I don't know. Let's see what uh, the 36 day has. The bid ask spreads on these. Good Lord. $4.35. So that's a 20 cent wide there. What's that the money? It's a 10 cent wide there. Well, that's a lot of premium, isn't it? He wanted to sell a eight put. Sell that one and get three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Fifty-seven probability of making a penny on it. You got a fifty-five percent uh, probability of making fifty percent on it. Uh, bringing in theta maximum profit. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Crying. All right. Look. Looks like it had some juicy premium in there. Let's just show, let's draw, draw a green monster on it. Weren't you looking at the calls? Oh, was he, yeah, he was looking at the uh, puts, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Matt. Thanks for keeping me straight. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Let's delete that leg. 
he was saying sell a oh no wonder yeah oh yeah no wonder the juicy premium that was in the money yeah he's looking at selling eight for 13 cents are you kidding no 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 you don't want to do that for 13 cents in an 11 dollar stock 31 cents there maybe shush nah stay away from this i, I just i can't bless this let's look like, look at it on the we may not even drink, draw the uh, Big Green Monster. Let's just look at it on this. He wanted to sell a a put. I wouldn't sell anything for 13 cents. And you got to figure, if you're going any less than 36 days, you're going to get less than that. Cron. Chronos Group. See, man, I knew we had you in here for a reason. But I see exactly what he's saying, right? He's saying, look at this, man. This thing is... Melanie mentioned it, too. Melanie mentioned it too. Good job, Melanie. See, I need you guys keep me straight. Thank you. Never trust anything I say. I've told you time and time again. Um, I see what he's saying. Hey, we're going to have a pullback maybe to there. Yeah. But why would you sell a put then? So maybe he didn't know he was going to do a put. Yeah, looking at this, man, we're coming back down. Let's look at it on the linear regression. Cron. Of all my little charts to mess up, this was always my fast one. And now you're just slowing on me. Unbelievable. Crying. Yeah, I'm just not getting a good feeling about this. Just not getting a good feeling, especially about a put on this one. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We are in an upward uh, little deal here. Check it out. We're going from the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom, and now that thing has exploded. And you want to sell a put on it? No. No, 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 no. This is a Wall Street bets play, right? This is one of those things they probably buy a call in and may make money on it. That's just not my game. That's not my play. I'm a conservative. Not going to do that. So, Smitty, I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do that one at all. All right, anyone got anything else you want me to look at? We got about 10 more minutes. We normally keep these to about an hour. Let's see here. Uh, duga, 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 W. W. Let's see what W. Let's pull it up here. Y'all think I act like I know what W is? I have no idea. Wayfair. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Wayfair. Wayfair. Isn't that something that they sell stuff, right? Not sure what they sell. Uh, IV rank 20.1, but when we look over here, we see plenty of IV, right? 131, oh wow, 84, 80, 76. Then we start going back up at 36 days. Let's just go, we find most liquidity in the monthlies. Looks what we got here going on on the put side. Oh wow, you could get out of there and get 530, wow, look at that. Four dollars, five thirty. Uh, well, anything in particular you were waiting for and looking for in W? Do you have a particular trade you want me to look at, or I'll just evaluate the whole thing? So I think we got plenty of volatility in here to trade this thing. Looks like the the good lord. Look at that twenty eight fifty, twenty nine forty. I heard Tom Shoshnoff say yesterday earnings is around two three. Oh, if y'all don't know, 203 is my number, 203. I was in Boy Scout Troop 203. Um, it follows me around everywhere. February 3rd, I mean, we may not even have a session on February 3rd. I'm so superstitious about that number. 203, Boy Scout Troop 203. Um, never made it past Tenderfoot, by the way. I was an underachiever. I always have been. All right, we're looking at W, right? Well, let's, let's look. Look, we had a lot of premium in there. Let's see. Uh, let's draw a big green monster on W. Way I saw yesterday something about he didn't want to trade Wayfair or something. Not sure why. All right, here's Wayfair. Make sure we're doing day three months. Yep. Uh, this is December 4, January. Let's draw it quickly. If this is your first time joining us, don't let this scare you off. Because I'm on so many. Hey, what the crap? Let me delete that. Wayfair. 
We have a class on this that pretty good explains it, I think. We'll right click, edit. We're gonna say, well, we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna say during the month of December, the high was 28868. You know, I'm really trusting you guys for me to tell y'all that I'm on stool softeners. I mean, who reveals that to anybody? I mean, that's one of those things you keep in your pockets, so to speak. Uh, the low was 22408. All right, hit OK. So then we've got to go to our little other tool. We draw from the 50 down to the middle of the green line. And finally down to the zero, or to the 100% line. Get right on there. There we go. Now let's bring this baby up. Next step is to move the 100% of this big old drawing we did down to the 200 line. So we right click, activate, pull the 100 down to the 200. Matt, are you on stew softeners? Yo, Matt. Afraid not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Matt. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'll write that down. Y'all get me distracted. So now I'm going to bring this zero line down to the top before we started doing that extension. If I can see it at the top of that red line. Let's bring that down. Hold on a minute. The eyes are going too, y'all. Get that to the very top. Now, hit the escape key. We're going to right click on this drawing and remove it. We are done with it. And we're gonna right click on this and we're going to edit our properties and we're gonna call this December for January. We're using December price action to project January prices. And we set color for all curves to the big green monster and we hit okay. So now we can go into our volume profile chart and we pull up, I forget what we're looking at, W. Okay. And I appreciate y'all coming in live too. I know you can watch the, uh, the thing at the end of the day but it really is cool to have y'all live and for so many of y'all to be here. So I hope you're getting value out of what we're trying to do for you. Um, Cause it's really hard. Most of the time you never see someone live trade their account, right? So it's kind of cool to, you know, live trade. And this is what I do every day. And I normally do this without anyone around. So we started doing this a couple weeks ago with y'all and I'm enjoying it. My wife says, she says, Bobby, I used to be in radio. So I had a little radio show and I don't get to do radio anymore, and it's kind of fun, you know, to do this and to hang out with y'all. So she said, you know, it's kind of in a weird way. You're getting your little radio fix. And I go, in a kind of, yeah. So I kind of like hanging out with y'all uh, every day. So as we look at this with Wayfair, what do we see? Well, it looks like we, on volume profile, here is where the volume was traded, mostly traded in the last 10 days. Wouldn't surprise us to see a pullback there, right? Wouldn't surprise me at all. And also, look, we've got a fair value range right here. If we were to draw the butt, it would go all the way down here off the screen. This is fair value range. Would not surprise me at all to see a pullback to this area. Now, here's the cool thing. Look, you notice that we've run out of chart here, don't we? So this is a fair value range. This is an overbought range. And then we've simply run out of chart, right? So what you can do is we can duplicate this chart. Let me move all my drawings. Clear all drawings. Here we go. You can duplicate it. Now here's the hard part, though. When I duplicate it, i got to... Do it all in one little 
drag or it'll mess up. So I can pull this up. Let's see if I can get it right. This is where I mess this up so many times. Jeez uh, Louise. Hold on. Make sure my eyes aren't deceiving me on what I'm drawing because I'm sticking the green. And then I've got to do a level above. Y'all, this, this is killing my eyes. Hold on a minute. Let me look at this. That ain't it. Let's see. Holy shamons. Is that it? I may have to take my glasses off. Oh, crap. I had it. Let me go to the other screen and see if I can do it better later. All right. Let's do it again. Let's duplicate. Oh, I've already duplicated it. Well, let's activate it. Let's activate that one. Now let's try to pull it up. Y'all, this is this will kill your eyes right here. I want to make sure I... I'm duplicating this to where it's right, though. Uh, so we got a thing above. So I got to go up one more, don't I? There we go. Well, that looks good. Yeah, because you want an oversold, overvalue head. <laughs> Unbelievable! What'd you do that for? Let's try it again. I had it right too. It's a bad thing. Oh, I know why. Because I went off the chart. Dang it! Dang it! Because if you go off the chart, it won't let you. Let me delete that. Let me duplicate it again. Yeah, here's what I gotta do. I gotta give me more space. This is good y'all are seeing this. Because this really tests your eyeballs. So there we go. There's one above, but. Wait a minute, why is it showing that one there? Hold on. There. Let me pull it over here. That looks right. That looks right. Go down just a bit. Yeah, that's it. Now, now, you can't get me, Jack. All right, now let's go back to our thing. Now we go. So here we go. Uh, now let me get my drawing tool. So now you see we can pull this out and make it a little bigger so we can see what we think price is going to do. So see, uh, Pretty amazing too, isn't it? Price goes in, from this fair value range and it blasts right through an overbought range into a new fair value range, FV, where this area is oversold. And it's almost like Wayfair said, hey, wait a minute guys, Bobby's gonna be drawing a big green monster today I know we peaked our head above this, but we don't need to go into this because this will be overbought. And we need to get back into the fair value range. And that's exactly what it did, didn't it? So now we're in this fair value range where we expect fair value to be. And if we look over here, we say, hey, wait a minute, this is where the volume's been traded. It wouldn't surprise me to see a pullback into that area. Wouldn't surprise me to see a pullback into this fair green uh, monster area here that might happen so what am I seeing here you know I mean this thing has clearly just shot up so let's go and clear that and let's go back to my mouse and let's pull up our little chart here W I say W So embarrassing. Symbol search. I'd like to see W. Let's uh let's refresh. Here we go. W. W. Mm -mm -mm. Don't make me go to the Wendy's parking lot. I will. 
Now, the cool thing is Melanie, they don't have a Wendy's in her town, but they've got a McDonald's. Now, see, to have a McDonald's over in Georgia, I mean, you are something if you've got a McDonald's. We don't have a McDonald's. We've got a Wendy's. Unbelievable. How embarrassing, y'all. Well, anyway, while that's pulling up, I'll put it over to the side. What would I do in W? I don't know. I mean, look, yeah. it's found a new fair value range. Uh, might see a pullback here. You know, it's, it's one of those things that's inconclusive to me. So if it's inconclusive and it has a good bit of premium in it, which apparently this thing does, you know, I'm probably selling a strangle maybe. And the good thing is you could do just like we did on Snapchat yesterday. You could, um, if you want to sell directional, you could sell one side with an expectation that you're going to get, if you get tested, you can always play defense by doing the other side. W, 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 W. Hit my enter. Unbelievable. I don't know why it's not pulling up. Who's pulled that up on their trading view? Can you tell me what it says? What does the regression look like? And you've got earnings coming up on the third, so I would probably definitely be out of this thing before the third. Let me just look at it in the options chain. See what we're looking like. Ninety-nine percent there, but that's only one day. What time frame are you wanting to look at? Uh, daily. I mean, that's crazy that my uh, trading view is not coming up, but it'll play my Elton John. Hold on a minute. Let me go back to trading view here. On trading view, it's a downtrend, but it's exceeded the upper side of the channel. It's, so let me visualize that in my head. It's a downtrend, right? So it's exceeded the downside of the channel? No, no, the upside of the channel. Oh, the upside of the channel. So if I'm seeing that visual in my head right, then it would look like that would also confirm a move to the downside. Am I right? Potential move back down into this area? So if we're looking at a down channel and it's and it's uh, penetrated the upside, mm -hmm. we might might see a uh, continuation of the downside. And on something like this guy, a, a three hundred and thirty dollars stock, if that's what you're looking at, oh wow, look at this thing! It's up seven point two one percent on the day. Yeah, so there's definitely no way I'm selling a put in there. If I'm going to do anything, it's going to be on the call side. And because that's a $332 stock, then I would be doing something on the call side, but I would do a spread, right? So I'd probably go into not knowing this stock, not knowing how the bid ask is. Let me see on this. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm probably, wow. I mean, that's some wide stuff, y'all. I'm probably definitely would go into the monthlies. And we'd close out of this prior to earnings and would do some type of spread. Look at this, though. I mean, so if you're doing this, you're in, going to be doing a 10-wide spread, right? So let's see what that looks like. Uh, vertical. Here we go. 10-point-wide spreads. So if it's 10-point-wide, you're going to want to collect a third of the width. On the call side, which would be $333, $345, there you go. So you could do that. You could do, let's see what this one's, this $373.80 for $280 if you got fill there. Uh, let's look at it in Tastyworks so we can see it better. We'll go Wayfair. We'll do 36 days. Uh... We sold the 460, bought the 470. That's only 58, so we got to move that in, don't we? Come on, guys. Go up. There we go. 
10-point wide. What am I missing here? February 19th. Make sure I'm in the right expiration. Wayfair. That's the right stop. Uh, 36 days is the monthly. Oh, here's the price of the stock. No wonder. I was sitting there thinking that's the price of the stock. So let's move on down. 370. Let's do the 380. Let's do the 390. That's bringing in 215. That's not enough credit. You want a third of the width. 270. That's not enough. You bring it in a little more. So you're getting closer and closer, though, aren't you? There it is, 330. So that's a 68% probability of profit. Lots of extrinsic there. Your probability of getting 50% is 73%. If you need negative deltas in your account, that looks good, and you bring it in nice uh, theta. Maximum profit is the credit you received, the 330. Your maximum loss is 670. Thus, it's a defined risk trade. Your buying power is going to be $670. So if, that, if you're needing a trade, certainly go in on that side. What happens if the thing keeps going up? Well, we would defend it. What would we do? We'd probably go on the other side, and we're going to sell a, a put spread. But I ain't selling a put spread with a, with a stock that's up 7%. Oh, heck no, not in a day. All right? So does that get your questions answered? Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Earnings around uh, two-thirds. I love the spreadsheet and this. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Melanie. Complete opposite here. Downtrend. Okay, that's what you were saying on that. All right, guys, we've been at it for over an hour, and I hope I've answered all your questions for the day. It's, and like I say, it's good having you here. And uh, if you have anything you want me to look at, and again, if you don't have your one-on-one, -on -one, uh, make sure that we schedule that time. I'm here for you to make sure that we answer all your questions. Because I want you to get value out of this, right? I want you to go, hey, you are becoming professional money managers. And you may not be like me and managing other people's money, but you are managing your own money, and that is important to you. doesn't matter what size of an account you've got. So I want to make sure that while I'm out here, you know, slinging short calls, short puts, and strangles, and naked this and naked that, that I'm giving you enough stuff that you can grow your small account. And so we saw a trade there you could take. It takes you $670 worth of buying power. We did one earlier that did, what, $60-something dollars worth of buying power. So I want you to grow small accounts, large accounts. If you're in the millions of dollars, we want you to, to do that. And the spreadsheet keeps you in control of everything that you're doing. Okay? So I love you all, and thanks for joining us. We'll be here again tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye.